a great panel coming up, and you all are here probably waiting for this fun talk. I mean, as a designer, design disasters, this type of thing, when you have humorous sides of design and you want to lighten things up a little bit, that's what we're going to do here today. They're going to be sharing stories and a lot of funny things, a lot of the design horror stories and everything in between, so you're in for a great conversation. So this is our final panel session here in KBIS, the Business and Trends track, and it is powered by Monogram. We have a quick video to watch here. Luxury is exceptional experiences, exquisite materials, and revolutionary innovation that transcends into modern day. Monogram is redefining the world of luxury appliances and creating an ownership experience that is second to none. Monogram collaborates with some of the world's most respected design and culinary experts to create high-end products that embody the mark of luxury you can see and feel because they need to be confident that not only will we continue to meet their expectations, but we will exceed them. At Monogram, we elevate everything. And to say a few words on behalf of Monogram, let's welcome Jennifer Solomon Collins, Senior Brand Development Manager with Monogram, back to the KBIS Next Stage. Welcome, Jennifer. Hello. So hopefully everyone has had a great couple of days. Um, I know when I leave these events, I am just filled with such inspiration, creativity. Um, and at Monogram, it's something that we have spent a lot of time um, finding that commonality with our owners. So we know that a lot of our owners um, for the luxury appliances are looking into having beautiful kitchens that inspire them. They want that same kind of awe-seeking um, moment that they would get while they're traveling or experience new foods or cultures when they walk into their home every day. So we're excited with Monogram to be able to offer multiple collections that allow designers as well as our owners to have these beautiful moments at home. So with our three distinct collections, um, we like to build a foundation based upon unparalleled performance, enduring materials, and an ownership experience that's second to none. One of my absolute favorite collections is our designer collection. And so we created this in partnership with Richard Anichevitz, as well as Keeler Brass. And so Richard brought to life this jewelry-inspired collection with brass and titanium panels, as well as leather-wrapped handles and hardware. We also have our minimalist collection, so this is a little bit more sleek and modern, edgy with black glass um, and sharper pointed handles. And then we have our statement collection, so kind of tried and true beauty, traditional transitional design with our signature brass accents. So, now that we're all here on day three of KBiz, hopefully everyone's feet are still surviving, but you've seen a lot of products, you've made a lot of new connections, you're learning about the latest trends, and attended a ton of events. And if you're like me, you're having total sensory overload. So this next panel is going to be exactly what you need right now. So I hope you're all ready to laugh a little bit. Here's some horror stories. And I encourage you all to start thinking about funny stories so you can get ready for this interactive panel. But first, our great panelists are going to come up and spill the tea on a different side of design. Moderators Sean Seurat and Rebecca Plum of Hot Young Designers Podcast are leading the discussion with Kimberly Selden, Advocate in Chief of Business of Design, Deneen Jackson, Owner and Lead Designer of Dina Cole Design Studio, and Stacey McCarthy, President of Stacey McCarthy Design. So please join me in welcoming this group to the stage and to the lighter side of design. Anywhere? Just we go there. anywhere. Hi, everybody. Hi, guys. Hi, everyone. Oh, yay. We were worried it was just going to be a sea of white chairs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining us here at the next stage. This is the final panel discussion of KBiz. We're really excited, and thank you to Jennifer. Um, as she mentioned, I'm one of your session moderators. My name is Sean Serha. I am the owner of my own design firm, Renstead Interiors, but I'm also the co-host of the Hot Young Designers Club podcast. And I'm joined by my partner in crime, Rebecca Plum, and she's here to help us moderate a fun discussion today. Hi, I'm Rebecca. I run my own design firm as well called Studio Plum and co-host with this guy, 
We're not that hot or that young, but that's part <laughs> of the fun of our show. So today we are joined by our panelists to discuss the lightened upside of this business. We're gonna have some candid conversations. We're talking about some humorous moment, moments, horror stories, unconventional requests, and unexpected twists that might come up. Um, our panelists will share their lessons. These are all seasoned designers who've gone through this stuff with us like we all have. Um, and they've navigated with some creativity and grace this unpredictable business we're in. <laughs> <laughs> Truly. So now let's welcome our panelists. For, first we have Janine Jackson. I'm going out of order, sorry. Janine Jackson is the owner and designer of D. Nicole Design Studio. Next to me is Kimberly Selden. Hi. She's the advocate in chief of the business of design. And finally, Stacy McCarthy, president of Stacy McCarthy Design. Thanks guys for being with us. And we also want to thank everybody who's here. We also want to invite you to stick around after the panel today because the um, 60th anniversary party for KBiz is happening right after we finish. So there's going to be a lot of fun planned, some cool swag, giveaways, and a grand prize, the KBiz Experience Package 2025. Ooh, I want that. <laughs> okay, so panelists, could you briefly introduce yourself and answer this question? What movie or TV set would you most like to live in? Ooh, where do you want to start? Um, we'll start with Kimberly. Okay. We'll go in order. Hi, everybody. I should also say I am an interior designer, so that's why I have good, good stories, not just business of design. Yes. Uh, what TV? Oh, first introduce myself. I think I just did. <laughs> you did. Good job. Um, I've been an interior designer for 109 years, so I have a thousand <laughs> stories. And uh, I love the business, but it's madness. And uh, so we'll get into that. And what I, this was really hard for me. What TV set do I want to mm -hmm. live in? So for sure not the Barbie house. That just <laughs> is harsh, but cool. Too many it's windows. Kind of fun to see, but I want to live there. It's so funny because I was saying, like, there's this house from an old movie that I just love that we filmed for a TV show once. And Rebecca knew the house, which is, remember the parent trap with Lindsay Lohan, that uh -huh. house in Napa? I love that house. It is so pretty. But failing that, I would say any Nancy Myers set, mm. right? Like, yeah. it's complicated. Mm. You remember that beach house with Diane Keaton? We did like 79 of those kitchens, so I'm like kind of bored with that, but <laughs> um, no, it's complicated with Meryl Streep and Alex Baldwin, right? That was a great house too. Ooh, I don't they're know. all good. That was good. Any of them. Yeah, Nancy knows what Nancy she's doing. Nancy Myers, yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Deneen? So, do you want me to introduce myself or tell yes. us? Okay, well, I'm Deneen Jackson. Um, I'm actually based out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, I've been, I have a boutique small interior design firm, but emphasis on kitchen and bath. Uh, my favorite sitcom, well, it's a sitcom, not a movie, was The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Uh, and I went back because I love, love, love how gorgeous everything was set out, set up. And believe it or not, it's timeless. I went back through some videos and I was like, wow, they had white old kitchen there oh, and black and white that? floor towel and gold knobs. So I, I really feel like that's more true to my design aesthetic. So I love how timeless, although the show is almost what, 30 years old, yeah, believe it or not, um, their kitchen is like a kitchen you would see today. There you go. Good design. Yeah, yeah. good awesome. design. I'm Stacy McCarthy with Stacy McCarthy Design and Emergency Designer. Uh, so my TV show that I was thinking of, the first thought, I, I think I took the assignment incorrectly because I was thinking of like, what did I want to be as living in the TV show? Oh. And uh, I, my first thought was bewitched. I <laughs> always wanted to be able to just wrinkle my nose and get the lights to turn off or that something. That was a cool house I didn't though want too. To jump. It right. was a very cool house. Yeah. Um, but the house I would love to live in was Father of the Bride. I just absolutely love yeah. the kitchen Pasadena. that you know created Father of the Bride too. So that's now a good it's one. <laughs> Right. I gotcha. That street always gets busy in Los Angeles. There's always people stopping to take pictures in front of it. Yeah. There's like iconic homes. I mean the the outside and the driveway and that classic car. Yeah, the whole set was beautiful. <laughs> 
So that today, what we want to get into a little bit more is the part of being a designer where we know that we're often part of some of the most intimate moments of our clients' lives, and sometimes we're unnecessarily intertwined with a lot of those events that happen. Um, and so maybe we'll start with Kimberly. Uh, why don't you tell us about some of the run-ins that you've had with your clients? So run-ins are, I don't like, where do you <laughs> even start? I'm tempted to start with the guy who used to answer the door half-dressed and then finally got down just to his tidy whities <gasps> And I had to say, OK, that, that's enough. Like, from now on, when we come over, you have to put pants on. I'm just, that's how that's going to work. Um, or if in terms of run-ins, I'll tell you a story that happened to me really early before I had systems and processes to run my business and I really didn't know how to handle it. You know when you just starting out and something happens you're like this can't be normal. I showed up at the house and we were laying a floor and it was Italian tiles that were handmade and the guy had laid them all beautifully and it was all done and it was grouted and the client was crying and I said oh my gosh, what happened? And she said, it's all wrong. I, What's wrong, she said. And she pulled out, I kid you not, a magnifying glass oh my and God. got down on her hands oh and knees God. and pointed out how the grout wasn't perfectly a quarter inch or an eighth of an inch all the way through. Oh no. But it wasn't perfect because they were handmade tiles. And so I'm on the ground, I'm on my knees, she's on her knees, her husband's on her knees, on his knees, and I'm having this conversation and she's hysterical and I'm thinking, how the hell did I get here? <laughs> like, why am I on the floor? Like, what am I supposed to do? And then what makes the story just really even better is I finally just like, well, it's handmade. It's not extruded from a machine. It's not linoleum. Like, if you'd wanted linoleum, we would have done that. She wanted it ripped out and made perfect. Oh, no. But finally, I, I got out of there. You're all going, no. But you know, when you're just starting out, like, honest to God, I, was, I just wanted to make my clients happy. And I, I joke this way all the time. If you, if you want to sleep with my husband, if that'll make you happy, we can do that. <laughs> uh, anything, right? So anyway, I finally like, backed out of there. And as I was leaving, I backwards fell down <gasps> two stairs oh, onto no. my head <gasps> oh, no. and drove home with like blood dripping down. Oh, my it was God. bad. It was bad. So did you negotiate a lawsuit? <laughs> or not? No. <laughs> no. I mean, no. halfway. They ended up keeping it. I have a feeling their friends and family talked them off the ledge, but I did have this crisis of like, I'm not sure this is for me. Like, what is wrong with people, right? Did you have any indication prior that she was like a little unhinged? No, or? no. <laughs> and, you know, I'm so glad you said because you know how all the time it's like, look for red flags. Yeah, they right. hide those red they flags. Do. Those red flags are well hidden sometimes until you're like deep in it, and he answers the door in his underwear. Yeah, it's like, what is that about? Yeah, you would never put that in your intake form. Yeah, yeah. By the way, add to your contract, you must be dressed at yeah. all I meetings. mean, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I know it's L.A., but come on. Wow. Well, yeah. Anyway. That's a terrible feeling, too. Yeah. Do you think he was, like, testing it? Like a slow strip tease? Was that, like, he was, like, maybe well, next time I'll well, take, like, a, part, like, like, one like, like, It was really weird, and it was pajama bottoms the first time, and then shorts, and then just the tidy whities I'll never forget that. I was just like, Was okay, there, like, a partner at home or a spouse? He was married. He was, he was he married. Yeah. I had a couple of, I mean, I was young then, too. I was young once. Um, <laughs> we all were. I was young and hot once. <laughs> we all were. Um, I didn't get the feeling that he was, I, did, I, I never felt like he was a predator. I just felt like this is weird behavior. Mm -hmm. And I, don't, I want it to stop now. Yeah, he's like It must it. stop now. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, it's tough. It's a, weird, it's a weird business. You're in a very intimate yeah. Yeah, position yeah. with your clients sometimes. You know a lot. Or the time we were at an install, we were making the bed, and we lifted up the bed, and we found the hugest vibrator I've oh ever seen. Oh, my God. <laughs> And then, right? And then you have to act like you didn't see the vibrator, but you made the bed. Was the client there? No. Oh, thank God. So we're making the bed. I'm like, good God, look away. I don't know but what like to say. But like later, they have to know when they, they get in the bed to. of like, we didn't leave it like she this. She had so. to know. And I wanted to say like, that's too big for anyone. <laughs> it's too big. How can don't your husband measure? Oh, no. oh my God. It's too much. It's too much. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. It's a weird business. Yeah. It is.
but I'm, I'm hoping we're going to get some more run-ins from that. We're going to have to talk more backstage about some of those. Yeah, yeah. I have a million of them, but I, I know there's like other lovely yeah. designers here. Deneen, why don't you share some with oh, us? Oh, gosh. <laughs> where to begin? To, right, where to begin. <laughs> but like Kimberly, I was just thinking, my story is actually a horror story, but like her, I did have a gentleman that I worked for when I first, first started. So he would send me like these love notes, but they, they were not love notes, but they were, you know, it was a little creepy. And my mom would say, I think he likes you. Like he really wants to be with you. And I'm like, no, I'm married. I have a husband. I got a whole family, but I had something similar to that. And the crazy part about it was that his last name was like, it had love in it. And so every time we would talk about him, of course, we would make funny jokes about Mr. Upmore wants me. Uh -huh. but. That was not my story. My story is a horror story, actually. Um, if um, for, Well, I'm not going to say which branch, but my client's husband was in the military. And when I first went to their home, she was telling me how her husband's fine with me coming in and doing the design. We don't need to have him a part of it. It was the very beginning of do, me going out and doing consultations. So I didn't think of anything other than it's okay, like, yeah, well, I can talk to you if he says it's fine. Well, we went through the entire present, we went through the entire setup, and then I did the presentation. I came back to try to do it, and he's outside doing the yard work. So she's trying to call him in so I can do the presentation at their home. And he comes in upset. He's just so upset at her. And she, he's like, so you're starting this presentation without me? And she's like, oh no, honey, I'm sorry. And she literally like backed up. And so in that moment, I'm in the middle of the both of them. So I'm nervous. I'm scared. I'm like, oh my God, is he gonna, what is he going to do to us? And it was late in the evening because I was accommodating their work schedule, which I no longer do. <laughs> so I was accommodating their work schedule. And he's like, I'm going and taking a shower. And he went and their room we're in their dining room and it's right outside of their bedroom so he goes in and he slams the door so hard that it like start to shake yeah so I'm so scared I'm like well should we continue like should we wait until he comes back in and she's like no just go ahead finish up so I'm trying to finish oh up no pressure. he did not take a shower, he comes back out. I guess he was so upset inside of the room that he just couldn't even get in the shower. He comes back out and he stands with his arms crossed the entire time I'm doing the presentation. <gasps> so I am so nervous. Everything that I'm trying to lay out for her and show her, I couldn't get out. He's just standing over me. So that was really one of the, I guess the hardest times um, for me when it came to design because I was like, wow, like he didn't even give me a chance because he started to like go off on the lighting I selected and he's like, I guess you want my whole house to look like a woman's house. And I'm like, oh my God, I just want everything to look good. So it was really, really hard. But the lesson out of that was that I am not going to someone's home without having both decision makers on board from the get-go. Mm -hmm. So I no longer, when wives tell me, oh, my husband is fine, I want to hear that from him <laughs> before I even, and I we don't do presentations it. at their home anymore. They have to come to our office. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. What do you think he was really waiver. upset about? I don't know. Like, I don't it wasn't know. Wasn't you? It wasn't me, <laughs> no. but immediately when I left, of course, I called my husband and I'm like, oh my God, this happened. And he's like, you're going to have to start. You traveling with your gun. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> just to go into someone's house. But you know, I guess so. You just never know like what you're walking into. And I did not know that night that it was going to turn off like this. And, and honestly, I was so nervous. I wanted to quit the project. Like I, I, I t my husband was like, well, you need to send her an email and tell her you're quitting. But I never terminated a project before. So I was extremely scared to do that. I was like, well, I'm just going to sleep on it. And the next morning, the wife actually emailed me. It was like, you know, her and her husband are not on the same page. So Ooh. they're going to bow out gracefully. And I was so happy about that. <laughs> that was years ago. And believe it or not, I just ran into the wife during Christmas season. 
and she's like, hey, aren't you the decorator? And I'm like, oh my God, like, I don't, like, yes. Oh my God, she's still married? She's single now? She, I don't oh know if they're still yeah. married or not. She was not with him, so. Hey, I don't know. You're like, please stay 100 yards away from me. Yeah. Like, just I was so <laughs> scared. I was so scared. So creepy. And it was a client, not just a random consultation. Yeah. No, uh. it was a client. So it was super creepy. So, yeah. Yikes. Oh God. Nothing like triggering your fight or flight to make your best presentation ever. I know. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Not sure I'd pull a gun on someone who is a military person. I know, right? I, know. I feel like I might lose that. Like, <laughs> Especially the branch that he was in. Like, it all makes sense. I was yeah, like, oh yeah. my had gosh. some <laughs> tactical experience. The, yeah. un the universe wanted you to get out of that. Yeah. So the, yeah. It's a good, Seriously. You didn't have to be, break up with them. They, they, they broke knew. up with me, and I was so fine. Fair fun enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the way, I wouldn't pull a gun on anyone, but yeah. Because <laughs> <No. laughs> we're clear, I thought I'd clear that up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Definitely changes the way we practice our design <laughs> right? Yeah. right? Uh, so there are several projects that I have, and um, I've been fortunate enough to work with a lot of contractors who have now lovingly referred to me as the emergency, emergency designer. And um, I actually created a Voices from the Industry, so when you see that QR code, it's being launched today on the on, all the on-demand in KBA voices from the industry. Hmm. If you uh, have that, you can see that or uh, contact me later and I can get you the presentation. I have a lot more stories there. Uh, some of the ones that I sent in for, you know, for submission here were what uh, brought me up on stage for you all today. Uh, I also worked in disaster restoration for a little bit, and that was another reason why I've kind of been playing into the emergency designer program. And uh, one of the clients, you know, one of the great ways to actually work with clients and support them is, okay, you've had this unexpected situation. You had a fire loss. Oh, it was a candle that this happened? Okay, let's go check this out. We'll go over to your house and meet, I met the couple, and the whole house is, you know, just, it's burnt. I mean, it's just really crispy on the inside of their master suite. And we're walking in and everything has been removed except one item. And we're just not gonna talk about it apparently as we're walking around. And I just did not wanna say, why is there this large swing in the middle of your bedroom? Oh, no. <laughs> I don't really want to talk about it. Let's just keep focusing on the master bathroom and focus on that area, we'll just deal with it. And we're just, wa and I'm literally just walking around the swing, not looking at it at all, because we're just not gonna talk about it today. They're not bringing it up. I don't need to bring it up. We'll just let it be. Why would they not bring it up? I mean, all right. Yeah. I, they were just, I think they were mortified. They let the house burn down with their candles. Oh. So, you know, well, so that, we did put it all back together. The swing was gone. I don't know if it's back. I'm not talking to them. Oh, it's back. <laughs> I'm not gonna go oh, back. Yeah. It's, it's back. definitely back. back. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, another project that was so, I mean, these are some of these things that, I, they're just so crazy that you could not make it up. Right. Um, as you may have seen, one of them was um, an FBI rescue. Uh, client connected with me because their neighbor said, hey, you got to talk to this designer. She can help you out. They are from the San Francisco Bay Area. I'm originally from California. I lived there most of my life and then moved to Florida just a couple of years ago. So I have nothing crazy in Florida yet, but <laughs> amazingly with Florida man, right? Uh, <laughs> the situation is it's this beautiful 1902 home. It's a mansion and, uh, and in the Fab 40s we're working on it and they're not getting a hold of their contractor that we had just met previously. And um, he had taken us on this great tour of the fabrication of where they fabricate all the cabinetry, where his workshop is. And um, all of a sudden I get a call from the clients and they're like, turn on the six o'clock news. No, not what you wanna hear. He is being swatted by FBI and it turns out he's not a contractor and that was not his business. He was a grifter. Oh. So like what in the world is happening? So that's why we really had to start making quick decisions, but we're just like, what the heck is happening here? Oh <laughs> like, my this guy, this. That was like a career, guys. like he was making moves like, off He was them. making this moves. This wasn't so like the first person he's done that. He's on the top that. 10 like FBI's done. wanted, most wanted oh list because God. he's been grifting people <laughs> for different types of businesses all across the country. 
and they caught him finally. But my clients lost a lot of money. They oh were never God. getting it back. We had to just reorder cabinets, but fortunately had great connections. But how do you know? Like when you're as a, as a designer, you really have to learn more about that contractor your client hires. Okay. I usually encourage, and as a certified interior designer, I can't say, hey, you have to hire my designer or my contractor. You can't, you can't force them to do that. But I highly encourage you to at least speak to this one that I've worked with. Mm -hmm. I trust them. I would have them work on my mother's house type of thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was just the most crazy situation I've ever had. And then the next story I would have love to share with you all is um, got a call from another client and said, hey, come meet us. We're, oh, by the way, we live right across the street from the Folsom prison, Folsom, Folsom <laughs> Federal Prison. Oh, that's our landmark. Great. Okay. <laughs> go out there and already have, you know, vetted them out on budgets and investment costs and things like that, what we're going to do. And I knock on the door and I hear, <laughs> boom, something hits the door. What the heck is behind this door that's going to open up? What am I going to walk into? Client opens the door and little tiny dog that had ran and hit the door, but this big Sully, like this Sully from Monsters, Inc., <laughs> is right there. Oh They're like, come on in. And this is the land where it just goes crazy. Every single room is dedicated to a theme of what they loved. And so they have me come in and they, they're like showing me around the house. There's Star Wars room. That, I mean, this is a I six guess. bedroom house. There's a Barbie room. There's a teacup mm. room. Everything crazy. I'm just like, okay, what do you need me for? <laughs> like, sit you down. We want to do the kitchen design. Yeah, was he in costume? No, oh, that was like, like a, a, they a had bought it size. from Dis a life-size oh Sully. Ew, uh, that's Epcot center decorating. Yeah. Like yeah. the worst. It was yeah, just go to Disneyland. So okay. as we're sitting down, getting to know each other a little more, they're like, hey, we want to show you this movie real quick because it's where it's the, what the style of kitchen cabinets we want. That's not that strange. Um, so we're, they put the movie on, I'm watching it, and I'm just like, oh, this is gross point blank. And they're like, yeah, don't mind the blood. This is what we want and for our kitchen. This is the style we're wanting. I'm like, oh, this is great. OK. <laughs> I mean, it turned out fantastic, but I could not take pictures because apparently the husband was in the CIA. So I had some limited things that I could actually share with you today. But that's oh, wow. somehow this is it follows me. <laughs> um, <laughs> If you'd like to hear more about it, though, I do have that uh, presentation I'd love to share with you, that QR code up there right now. Um, it's a lot more stories and how I can help you also incorporate. I don't want you to run away from cl crazy clients. I mean, there's so much more fun involved in it. And I have great processes to share and help you push through that. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I went to need. I'm out of here. It depends on the brand of crazy, I think. But yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. So the, I want to follow up on the grifter Dirty John guy. So did he like break into an actual cabinet maker's shop and just he walked us Give a through tour? during the day. He gave us a tour. But it, Nobody saw him. But it was like, someone else's business. There were people business. working, but it was during lunch hour. And so nobody was Like noticing. none of them questioned him? Like, no hey, you don't work here. Them. Why are you doing this? They, they, he could they were just look workers. like a cabinet rat or some kind of a rat. Oh, yeah. Could have been a And they're rat. just there building cabinet. Like, they're not going to get in the way cabinets. of something. Nobody was looking at who oh, this guy was. Oh, the audacity. I mean, I think this is when it's really helpful to have, like, a local design community. Yeah and being able to just ask around if there's some random new vendor that you haven't heard of. I this only want to work legit. with my A team. I, mean, I don't want to work with randos. It's yeah, too I hard. Mean, you get those clients who say, I want my contractor. Right. And then you find out, oh, he's my co-worker's brother-in-law. Right, yeah. and that's a response. Uh, you know, problem. uncle, whatever. And yeah. No, like, thank you. No, thanks. No, I really make, don't want to do Making me want to invest in, like, a background checking company or something. <laughs> like, you already them. do. <laughs> That's my ex banker. My ex, I, I'm a former, a former. I worked in banking for 13 years before I went yeah. back to design school. And one of my last roles with the with the bank was in anti money laundering compliance. Yeah. So we spent a lot of time really digging in on 
like reputational risk and trying to figure people out. So now I really do, I do like start to dig deep when I can't find people and I get an inquiry. I'm like, why isn't there anything in you public have, like, record? You have like, like websites that you do like background <laughs> there's checks. A, there's a few back pocket things out there that yeah, are now you not know. illegal to get access to, but definitely like if I can't find something on people, it's not the dark web. why are they hiding is my question. Cause almost all of us now have so much that's just in the world. Yeah. And when I'm like, oh, that's so weird. You can't, there's not one address on file for you. Like where did, where did you come from? And then now I'm like, is it CIA now? Like, I don't know. Now I'm curious. Yeah. I've never had anything bad. Like, Nothing but I if ever you're a business, if you're a cabinet maker, you have to have. You got to be registered presence. somewhere, or right? Like, I sure do go look up all, like almost every business because California makes it easy to look up business yeah. entities. And yeah. I'm like, why did you let your insurance lapse? Like, <laughs> what, what happened that year? Or like, yeah. why are the executives different suddenly? What happened over there? <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, I feel better about. <laughs> You haven't had any that I'm wild? Not like scary. <laughs> not scary. Not grifters. Yeah. No, yeah, I mean, that's yeah. scary. Yeah, but you have like the normal again. stuff. Like if you had, I've had a, we used to years ago, we used to send out our contract and it was a Word document. And so I had the client, you guys have had this client who changed your contract. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, no. And like I took the liberty. So then we're like, okay, yeah. now we send out a PT PDF. Yeah. yeah. If I'm hiring you, you can decide what's in the contract. But since you're hiring, me, yeah. we're gonna go with my contract. Definitely. Yeah. Your version. I've yeah. had that red lines. I had a contract. Track changes. Yeah. By yeah. A, by I, I went ahead and changed your rate and yeah. your markup percentage is now this. Yeah. <laughs> like, Sorry. On. No thank Sorry. you. No. <laughs> thank you, but no thanks. And I was saying backstage, I it's only for consultations, so for people that are basically strangers, they can book appointments with me online. And I do a cursory look to make sure they're not creepos. And it's never happened, but I do sync that those calendar appointments to my husband's calendar, just in case like I don't come home that day. There's like, a person case. I'm gonna. I mean, that. I'm still probably dead, but at least he knows where to find me. Too late. Like, in a... I mean, I at least want to be found and have like this. Story I, don't, I don't blame you for that. But I take know. somebody with me. Like I, we, uh, I have somebody who answers my does all our pre-qualifying and qualifying phone calls. And she'll say, I just, there's something, I don't know. Yeah. So I'm sending you with a senior designer to go with yeah. you today. And a couple of times Smart. I've been happy. It was just nothing, nothing crazy, but yeah. it's just like, ugh, the vibes I want to be there. Vibe. Yeah, my assistant the vibe wasn't is good. now. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. good to have another witness next to you if something happens. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, apropos of nothing, but I went for a massage. Like, you know, during COVID, it was all the places were closed. So I went to somebody's apartment and they had a pole in the living room oh and i'm like okay but then i could have lived for with stretching. the pole in the living room I'm like, no judgment yeah you can exercise however you want you can have you can have sex i'm from california have sex however you want I don't care. <laughs> but the bathroom is super gross and dirty oh. and that was the moment where no. i'm like i don't think i can do this no yeah these are like the weird intimate things that we see that we're yeah. not used to yeah. seeing yeah i've but mine was also that with i've had had a client who wanted to return these nightstands because they wanted these beautiful nightstands. They had leather handles. There was personal lubricant all over them. <gasps> and I did not damage that. Was not, they were not delivered that way. The install photos did not show that. And I'm like, there's nothing wrong with, there was nothing wrong with these. It's not a manufacturer issue. And it was like, they were just ruined. They were ruined. But it is something to consider when you're When I expect the nightstand, I would have liked like, to know what, like. Leather handles. So you can ask that next time. Do you, yeah, now it's do like, you use a lot of lube? It could be. Any like, oil-based <laughs> products yeah, that yeah. might be a problem. <laughs> what do I need to know that could ruin the finish of these tables? I mean, even if you put lotion on your hands every night, you probably don't mess want it up. Yeah. Oh so my God, but that know. sounds like that was excessive. I don't know. Like, it there's lube. The audacity <laughs> of returning. Or what if it have you? You have to add things to your questionnaire on yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, just for to sure. prevent Tell that. Me about what and I make them sign. Yeah, or you I know need the... to see their contractor before <laughs> we engage on this project. Oh, because, yeah. yeah. I mean, you just, these really help us increase our contract just, just for protection. <laughs> every yeah. every yeah. project is a new chance thing. to revise yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Or have you Policies had change. have you have clients who want wallpaper in the bathroom and then they have yeah. little boys? Oh. Yes. And then the wallpaper is all discolored from the like two feet yes. down. You're like, so you have to have that conversation with them. Okay, we're going to talk about the splash zone. Yeah. And we need a tile at least three feet up. Can't do it. Been there before. We're not doing that. Yeah. It's, it is a weird business. Yeah. 
but we and you have to talk about it, which is why it's like now you're just ripped the band-aid off. There's just there's jump, let's no, jump right into the way yeah. you actually live in your house. Or now. barn doors. You know how barn doors look really great, yeah. but acoustically, not sound. Do you really want to listen to your husband in the bathroom? Yeah. I don't think you do. Nope. We can only move the powder room so far away from the dining room. Exactly. Right. Can we please? Right. That's please. true. Yeah, yeah. The powder room's right beside the dining room. I'm sorry. Yeah, no barn doors, please. <laughs> Awkward. Yeah. No, they look great. Don't work. Yeah, I think it's good to have some kind of icebreaker with clients just to like get past some of these things quickly because you do need to get in their business. You are going to walk in their house without knocking at some yeah. point. Like you do get very comfortable. So it's better just for them to just be able to tell it like you're kind of a therapist, like in a lot of ways. Oh, definitely. Mediating between spouses, whatever it is. Like I think it's good to have, I mean, Maybe we just need to take like a vow of silence or whatever. Now mediating. We wouldn't be here, but what like doctors like you can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a I, Hippocratic oath, but yeah, like, but we can't like disclose. Do no harm. I, mean, I never disclose anyone's names if I do tell a story. No, but if they were listening, they would know these stories now. That's what I think yeah. on the podcast. Sometimes, sometimes the stories I share, I think if a like if if this person heard. What I'm saying, that would be so uncomfortable. That's why we started a Patreon. <laughs> so we know everyone who's like in it. And paid. clients don't yeah. pay. Like, you yeah. have to pay a little bit to get in. So it's just yeah. designers. And we can tell a little bit more of our hot tea stories there. Yeah. 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 There's always more to share. There's always. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Th I mean, thank you all for sharing so much with us. And like also being able to reflect on it now from a distance is a lot easier. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> now it's funny. Now, now you can <laughs> laugh about thing. it and you made it. Yeah, and in I the moment, it. like, okay, I just collected a new story. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the little bit of a silver lining, I guess. Yeah. There's always something new, though, no matter how prepared you are, right? Like, always. there's the next crazy thing that you didn't anticipate. Always. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, we, we upholstered a sofa, and the client was upset because when you look underneath the sofa, the underside, mm -hmm. we didn't use the same material underneath. Oh, wow. But that's because you don't lay on the floor and look up at the bottom of the sofa. Only the dog sees that. Mm -hmm. And the sofa and the fabric's a scalamandra, like it's 400 something dollars a yard. Oh, my God. Yeah, so that's, they just wanted you to like do We had coverage, to right? remove the sofa and upholster the bottom of the sofa. They didn't want just like the black fabric on right. the Was this the same magnifying glass, ladies? No. <laughs> no. No. Like they're, the they're just, you know, they're out there. There's yeah. not one family having them all. Like they're, you're going to run. And, and if they had told you that from the beginning, that's what I want, yeah. then we would have quoted for if it. If you want to like, spend $1,200 right. modifying, the, and I'm going to take some money off the procurement, like I can do this all day. You want to, <laughs> yes. right? Yeah. Like, Right. Maybe we should. But have they ever even seen that? Like, wh why would they even think just that was a standard? She, her feeling was it what just wasn't right. Mm. Just wasn't right. I said, well, let's make it right. <laughs> <laughs> let's do this. Yeah. Right? What about the chairs in the other part of the yeah. room? Yeah. Like, yeah. Honestly, let's keep let's, going. Let's do it right. Now that I know. <laughs> yeah. You're not. It's not fully upholstered until the bottom is covered now. So now, you now have that's to a it. thing now. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Make a. Yeah. They're not going to argue with them. It does that. make me think sometimes of developing a questionnaire with like a psychologist mm -hmm. that could like unearth some kind of like red flags that they wouldn't yes. know you're doing it, but yeah. it's like, what, what's your like OCD level? Like, how is this going to impact? Because we want them to be happy too. So like, I'm not going to recommend handmade tile for you yeah. if you really want those grout lines to be perfect. Mm -hmm. We're going to have the tile installer that's twice as much but they're going to spend three weeks installing your back right. slash. Yeah. Like, fine. Cutting one at a time with like a hammer yeah. and a chisel. Yes, <laughs> that's what we should do that. Like a strength training yes. system. Yeah, my previous work, we did that. So I would know what my employees were, like what were yeah. their strengths versus their weaknesses mm -hmm. or even just their personality. Like, I think that would be good for a husband and a wife. Yes. Because yeah. I have a husband and a wife that I'm working with right now, and I swear he doesn't like her. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> it's just when it's when I'm around, but he, he's very short with her all the time, and she's like trying. And so I, I know I'm always in the middle, so I feel so bad. But 
maybe if I could get him to the side and talk to him more about it and just knew what how his strengths were and hers. And I don't know. We're pre-mediators all the time. But, yeah, I feel like he, he, he doesn't like her. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we didn't designers. know you were going to be a we're marriage designers. Yeah, we're designers. Yeah, we're not magicians. Yeah, we're not magicians, but we're yeah, I we're designers. Yeah. I'm marriage therapists. The, right. We are marriage, marriage therapists. Therapist. I have a, a couple that I'm working with right now where it's, it's very obviously the wife is going to get whatever she wants. Um, but the husband is just so, so just trying so hard to be heard. Aww. And I, I do say, you know, that is something we can consider putting a balcony on the front of the house on the new addition. Now, in architectural terms, we do call that a wart on the house. So I have helped him just really make that decision very quickly because that is not, it's just not going to look great at all. He's, he was just wanting to have something, even if it didn't make any sense. But yeah. at least I heard him. We laughed. We had fun. Um, and you do, you do have to have fun. And I think that learning yeah. from a lot of these crazy stories we've had, you don't necessarily have to run away from the client. You can learn how to turn it around and enjoy the process. You really can, it can be fun and it can be funny. You can get them to laugh. And I think that's what it just really makes it such an incredible business. Um, but yeah, you can get stressed out at times. Yes. And this is where you learn and you add those things in the contract. You know, it's the thing I always tell clients that I am not an absolute person, except for you always know, you never know what you're going to get, uh -huh. especially with remodeling. Yes. Every true. time. Very and if true. we don't laugh, we'll cry. <laughs> or both. <laughs> yeah. Sadly. A fair amount of both, yes. Um, we want to have some time to talk really quick about your thoughts on some design trends too today. Yes, so under your chair. Oh, I saw that. A special I was way back here. Um, we have these little cards. Okay. And not. That we are going to throw out a design trend and you're just going to quickly say with your card whether it's hot or not. Okay. There's no right or wrong answers. We're going to do it too. But we'll think about your answers later. We'll judge you silently. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> we will have things to say. So the, the first one we want you to tell us if it's hot or not is open shelving in kitchens. I do. I like it. Well, it's, it's great when it's the right thing, and it's not good when it's not the <laughs> right thing. So I, I feel like a lot of these things need explanation. I, saying, I know. I feel like I should be short and sweet, though. It's a bit different. OK. Like, I there we go. I mean, uh, we like hot to as in, status quo. it's not new. No. And no. It's, so it's not. I don't no, know. just whether you like it. I do like it. I like it if there's like a big pantry where all the sippy cups can go yeah, and right. stuff like that. Yeah, I, I do not want to see a Mickey Mouse mug nope. on an open shelf. No. Like it better be beautiful. Like I want to buy all the dishes that go on the open shelf. And if, a cl if I come to a client's house and there's one dish out of place, I'm like, this is not what we talked about. Yeah. yeah. No, or you, you agreed like, when we presented this. But yeah, you yeah. yeah. <laughs> this, this doesn't work. This has to go. Or you like, get two two foot shelves by the window. We're going to put a yeah. plant on put it. Put a little base on it and that's it. Or I have a client who have two sets of twins and they're like, the twins made it. I don't care. It's ugly. No. Yeah. Keep the twins. It's ugly. Lose, lose the mic. They have their own room, well, right? I'm, I'm using twins. it to hide some glass block that the HOA will not let the client remove it oh. for a different window. And so we're having uh, open shelving put on there with plants just to kind of yeah, make, yeah. make something yeah. Just yeah. make it disappear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's look good. Yeah. Yeah. Makes Okay, white shaker cabinets. Oh, vomit. Okay, I, I there's like a commentary them. on this Listen. thing. No. <laughs> you know what? Have you seen Christopher Peacock's? You can mix it up. With shaker cabinets and the. I'm not saying it can't polished. look good. I, mean, I just there's wouldn't. Amazing. I am. Like I'm saying it doesn't look it good. Now it. Yeah. It's just been done. I agree. It's and been you done, can but it up. I still think it's hot. I do so, too. You know, I, mean, I don't. I wouldn't rip it out if it was nice, but. It would not be for me, but it would be for my client. Somebody. Somebody wants it. Somebody wants it. <laughs> a lot it. of folks do. A lot of people like it. It's, yeah. You right. can mix it up. You don't just have to okay. do all white. Yeah. That's Fair. true. Mm -hmm. All right, our, our next hot or not is statement making stone counters. Hot. Statement making. Uh, do I get to decide what the statement is? Yes. Yes, a hundred percent. If you want a bossy marble, get that bossy oh, marble. Oh, I like that. Yes. <laughs> get a book match behind yeah, a yeah, yeah. That'd be yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so we're all in. Yeah. I'm really excited for that to be. We've been using a lot of like really 
gorgeous marble again, you know, like with the violet tone, yeah. the white with the yes. violet, and oh, it's so sexy, I mm -hmm. love it. And there, I feel like there's so much longevity that's built into some of it because of how, all the different color undertones that are in it that yeah. as people's lives change or things need to be updated, if they want to yeah. repaint something, there's a yeah. lot of options with it. It's yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing lasts forever, though. Remember Travertine? When was the Travertine boom? Now oh, I look at it. Even the early like, aughts. Oh, like, oh, but it's no. back. But it's back. back. <laughs> like, I love Travertine, too. No. But in, not in, like, 18 by 18. Yep. I know. I know. Yeah. Like, culottes are back. I love and that's culottes. Not. Culottes are back. <laughs> <laughs> Who let should not happen to anybody? <laughs> hey, we're having a 60s party after here. This is right. You know, things come yeah. back. They circle around. I haven't heard that word in so long. I know. Culottes. They're coming back oh. for real. Sounds like a cocktail. I've seen them in the yeah. All over athletic, TikTok. in the athletic, right. athleisure. Really? Yeah, and like yeah, the little clam things. digger ones that are like tight. Oh, uh, yeah, if you have cute little legs. I know. It's for the 20-year-olds. I don't know. Um, OK, so a lot of lighting companies have been doing plug-in wall sconces. Hot or not? Not. Oh. I mean, I mean, if you're renting and you have to, I think like, okay. if you got yeah. to, yeah, I think you could <laughs> lean into it and make it look kind of cool. Like a lot of them have interesting braided cords, and it's sort of part of the aesthetic of it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, or hard wiring just isn't in the budget. Yeah. Like yeah. for some of the like decorating projects, you're like, we just got to get a light in this corner, please. Like, let's yeah. get something in here. Yeah. Okay. You're not, but I didn't get you to, no, I'm just kidding. You're not going <laughs> to yeah. once we yeah, plug yeah. in a sconce on those white shaker cabinets. <laughs> 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 I want it either. <laughs> All right, la our last one. How do you feel about colorful plumbing fixtures, like those pink toilets that I'm are out not, there? I don't know. Oh, no. I don't Ooh. know. No. I don't not know. Not for me. You're waffling over there. Stacey. I love all the colors. I love it. Mm -hmm. I'll, really? I, love it all the like, I would toilet. take a red toaster, but a toilet, like, yeah. aren't you going to get, like, one day you're going to walk in and go, what have I done? Like, five years I mean, years a from lot now, of the 50s ones are still fully functional, and they, like, designed the whole room around them. I think Ew. for that I, gross, <laughs> right? That just sounds gross. I don't want to use a toilet from the, from the 50s. 50s. Well, it's okay, okay, not water. About. It's like pump I think it'd be great for like mid, a mid century special modern plumbing. Yeah. No, it isn't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. what yeah. Stacey said for not a special modern. powder. Special powder. I can see room. that. Like in a yeah. small Cabana maybe, bath. But you know, not like something pink fun. or pastel. Yeah. No. Not, your, not your regular yeah, everyday maybe. bathroom, but your, your special bathroom. Yeah. yeah. For fun. Remember last year Kohler did a yeah. show? The they toilet. did. I, I mean, that was kind of fun, but it's like. It was fun, but and we're they, not and putting we them. They brought out all those. Yeah. They brought it back. Janine and I are sisters, yeah. There's green There's green sinks and tubs. Green is a no. Like. No. Uh -uh. If you remember the avocado green, yeah. If you're from California and in your Harvest 70s, gold, avocado, never again. Yeah. Like that should never happen. The dishwasher, to the fridge, everything was like magic. never again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Very copper. Good. We can't go back. I, well, can, I can make it work. <laughs> well, thank you all for sharing your hot or nots with oh, us. No. We're, so, we're so opinionated. <laughs> I know, right? I'm like really good at that. And now we know that some of our audience is going to have a few of their own stories they want to share. So Ooh. we'd like to turn it to you to share what is on your mind or let us know if you have some questions for our panelists. Who wants to go first? Someone has a story. <laughs> I see the, oh, here we go. Oh, somebody does. I have a couple stories, but I'll just say the one. <laughs> I go up to, it's a remodel project, and the contractor and client are there already talking, and you could tell they're not quite with it, and I guess they were up all night doing drugs, mm -hmm. and just had this crazy day, and they redesigned a bunch of stuff, so then we had to come in and be like, what is happening, what are we doing, and it just, everything changed. And they're like, wait until the opening, like the grand opening party of the house, and I'm like, oh my, what is gonna happen here? <laughs> The and then it was like, and then you open a closet, and there's just drugs. Ew, what? It's like a pile of drugs. Yeah, and they're like, we don't use this master bathroom right now because it doesn't work. So you open this tiny shower, and it's just drugs. What? Wow. And they were are just like Wild. tripping, and it was just, it was. An experience. How fast did you run? It was fun. It was. I didn't. I didn't partake. But it was that, fun. <laughs> that was the '80s. I know. It sounds like an '80s mansion. That was the '80s. Yeah. yeah. Are the '80s back? Is that? How, was that a now yeah, story? Drug paradise. That's Last, Last year. year. Oh, wow. my God. It's the 80s for someone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they can't let it go. Yeah. Whoa. That's scary. 
Y'all, this was so fun. Thank you. I was sitting here, I remembered, because I've been doing this for a thousand years. <laughs> and, um, thought of so many stories that I had totally forgotten about. Just yeah. insane. I, mm -hmm. I attract the insane. I've always said I must have dear Abby that only the insane can see. <laughs> um, but, and I'll just do one, because I really could do have like a, th I, I think I'm You have a memoir's worth for us, probably. Yeah. But I was at, um, no, we were at our showroom like 20 years ago, and this couple came in, and they were kind of ir irritated anyway. He had apparently had the kitchen torn out like two years ago, and I don't know why they could, it didn't last long enough for me to get, ever get the whole story. They got in a huge fight, he got up and left, and she starts crying, and is not sure how she's gonna get home, and I'm not volunteering, and, she finally left. I, I think she decided she didn't live that far and was just going to walk. And we we're just kind of in shock because they were screaming at each other, cussing, and yeah. we we're just kind of like, oh, my God. Um, and she's gone, and we look down, and her purse is sitting there. So then we knew she would come back. Oh. So anyway, it was just kind of – we've had lots of fights and lots of crazy stories. and Question. FBI involved. <laughs> oh FBI's my. walked in my showroom to talk to me, and the girl I work with was like – FBI's here to see you. Like I had done something, you know, and I was like, oh, cool. I promise my taxes oh, are fine. That is like, not what you oh want to hear on a Monday. <laughs> like, no. Thank y'all. This was oh, hilarious. Yeah, so and it fun. is the only thing that keeps us going. I thank totally you. forgot about my client who was arrested and perped walk right off the project. And like while you're there? While we were there. Like a sidewalk, oh. perp is, walk. This is years ago. Like we were doing their boathouse in Muskoka, which is cottage country outside of Toronto, about two hours outside of Toronto, really pretty lake country. And where I was there with a couple of the a junior designer and a senior designer, the cops come, cuff him, and back then I got a very small retainer, like maybe five thousand dollars, and he owed me a few hundred thousand at this point. Oh my god! I was young; I had, didn't have all my process, and I thought that. I'm in so much trouble right now because everything's bought, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to pay yeah. for all of it. Anyway, it was a white-collar crime, so he got off, of course, quickly, and he paid all of his bills. But that was my wake-up moment. Like, you have to get a huge retainer and take care of yourself. Oh my God, yes. Mm -hmm. Really? So yeah. scary. Somebody goes yeah. to prison. You... Yeah. yeah. We had a reality show for a while. Come <laughs> ask me afterwards. I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wild. Almost right. Did. I know. Like that's sad when you don't even think of that story at the top of your. You've mind. had so many. Right. More, yeah. more fun to share a story than ask a question. So, uh, <laughs> um, uh, I'm sorry, Denine. Yeah. Um, you were talking about bringing your gun, and it reminded me of, <laughs> yeah. um, uh -oh. in my capacity as an account manager for a cabinet company, I was visiting, doing a home visit with the designer to check out a couple questions the client had. And I was given a heads up ahead of time. This client was a little odd. Mm -hmm. And his home was in the middle of nowhere on probably at least 10, maybe 15 acres of land. Oh, and we walked into his great room and there were guns everywhere. everywhere. Oh, I mean, it, oh, uh, rifles and shotguns, mm -hmm. but nothing was locked. I mean, oh, no. laying on the sofa, oh, horizontal, some with scopes, oh, tilted up into the corner, <laughs> on a chair, I mean, everywhere. Oh, we walked out of there, and I said, how many do you count? And he goes, oh, there were at least 16 or 18. Oh, my I'm God. like, can we leave now? Yeah. yeah. And it just reminded me that, you know, it's not always a great idea to visit by yourself. Yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. Right. no. So you need good. a backup plan. And someone to help extract you if you need it. I go back to the person who sent me there and said, did you know that? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? They didn't odd. know. They just yeah. thought they were odd. Yeah. 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 Okay, good. That's scary. Wow. I'd be mad. I'd have been freaked out. Hi, I'm in Augusta, Georgia, so I carry everywhere. There we go. <laughs> All the time. It's like on my thigh. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> um, I was brand new. I'm still only like two and a half years in, but it was my first huge, like nine bedroom house in my town. And I was so excited and we'd done our questionnaire, our qualifying call. I felt like she was just like the ideal client. I mean, I was praying about this. I was real excited. And we walked into this house and it was a, not a new build, but the kitchen had recently been remodeled. Very high end and he knew the contractor that did it and it was just stunning. And that was ever, the kitchen was never discussed at all before that. And while I'm in the middle of the consultation, 
she threatens to divorce her husband while I'm standing oh. there if she <laughs> doesn't so like give her the kitchen of her dreams. And I immediately thought, if this is how she speaks to her person, mm -hmm. how would she speak to me? Because at some point, like, when you're through a remodel, everybody yeah. hates everybody. It's, yeah. like, it's, it's not breaking the down yeah. anymore. Yeah. And that was a big lesson to me with figuring people out. And I also, we now all take all of our new clients out to dinner with their whole families. As soon as we book them, once we feel good about it, we book them. We take them to a restaurant. And I see how they interact with their kids. Because even if you have the money, if you don't have the life, I don't want to work with you. Like, hmm. if you're in the middle of a divorce, if you're going to tell me you hate your husband all the time or whatever, like, yeah. I'm not your girl. Like, we are trying to build dreams here, folks. Yeah. Like, if you're batshit crazy, hire somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> We've got good. enough of our own crazy to deal with. We don't need someone else adding right. to it. <laughs> That's a good idea. I've heard of people saying they only want to work with people they would have a drink with, but you're, like, actually doing You're walking it. What yeah. if it turns out crazy at the dinner? Do you return the retainer? Um. So far, we haven't had to return the retainer. Okay. We have had kind of had to adjust a couple things and say, hey, I feel like this is, um, we One. need to add this or subtract this from the scope of work we were talking about. And twice when I was on the fence, I just took the risk and said it was 200 bucks and took them to dinner anyway and said, let's just see if we're like even a good fit. Because if we can't break bread together and it doesn't sure. feel super smooth, we can't work together for two years yeah. and build you this big house. Mm -hmm. It has to, like by the time we're done, I know it's in your nightstand. So yeah, you better exactly. really like me, and I better really like under you. Under your mattress, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Under the, the mattress, right. yes. <laughs> Hanging from the rafters. <laughs> Hopefully not in the corners and on the couch and all that. Wild. That's, that's a good kind idea. of like that's the a good policy idea. for hiring. We do yeah. like the last step of hiring is let's go for lunch. Yeah. And it's amazing how you give someone a Bellini and they act differently. Right. Like, yeah, oh. yeah. The truth comes pouring yeah, out. Yeah, no, it's, it's that kind of interesting. Yeah, I have clients. We love the wild Friends story. all the time, so I'm not trying to go out. I always get a client that wants to be my friend, and they're like, yeah. oh, we should hang out sometime, or we should go out. And I'm like, no. Yeah. <laughs> and you want to go to dinner with them? Like, 375 the an going? hour, we yeah. can hang out as right. long right. as I'm you like, like yeah, it. we're not friends. So we, we go to dinner in a professional day. sense. Like, we yeah. know, and yeah. like my assistant's there and whatnot, yeah, but yeah. when people, clients like, oh, I want to friend you on Facebook, and, it's yeah. and I'm like, girl, as soon as we're done with the job, yeah. I would love to be your friend, and I, we made that boundary up right away, mm -hmm. and like, before shopping together for something, like, hey, let's go to lunch, we're putting this on the business account, and they'll be like, oh, it is so expensive, don't worry, honey, you already paid for it, Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you're paying for this, we we'll get you sure on the purchase order, okay, yes, <laughs> like, the language is always about business, even though we want to have a personal relationship with them, but I intentionally will say, I'm not, like, I'm not your buddy yet. Let's finish our job first, yeah. and then we can. I can go to your kid's birthday party or whatever. And you're wearing that boundary on your hip, so. <laughs> they know. Yes. They know the ultimate line. The ultimate line, yeah. It's a, it's a great to be able to compartmentalize too. If you haven't practiced that and learned that, I highly recommend it. Um, I mean. There are times where my friends, when my actual friends, don't want me to come over because they're like, oh, don't look at my house, don't yes. look at my house. And I just I say, get you know that what? All the time. I can turn it off. It's a light Ugh. switch, and it's, yeah. you know, I can literally turn it off. Or if a new person finds out I'm, a, you know, or wants to invite me over, they're like, what do you do? And I'm like, I'm an accountant. So just let me come over because I'm not going to redesign your house unless we engage in a conversation. Unless you ask me for my opinions. And right. Then, like, do you really want it? Be ready. Then I'm uncorked. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Every time. Thank you all so much for being here with us today. I also want to thank our fabulous panelists, Kimberly Selden, Deneen Jackson, and Stacey McCarthy. Oh, nice to meet you. And a special thanks to Monogram for making this possible with all of us yeah. today. Thanks, everybody. Thank you so Thanks, much. Everybody. Thank you, Kavis. Thank you.